Do you know what I'm noticing? What do you think I'm gonna say I'm noticing right oh, now? Oh, something about your hair. Look at this! Thing. Like, this is like way back there. I'm not excited about that. That's okay. Thanks for being understanding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. What do you tell your husband when his hair is not quite as thick Put as on it a used hat. to be? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> All right, well, we finished it. The girls' bedroom is done. This project started way back in December. So we'll take you back to the beginning, show you the before and afters, because I think it turned out pretty good. I do too. Well, like we said, this project actually started back in December. So our upstairs of our house used to be one bedroom and a landing. So we had the boys out. Well, so we originally had all four kids in the- In this room. In this room. Which was bigger at the time. Right. And then, mm -hmm. then we split them up and put the boys out on the landing, but that wasn't really like a real bedroom then. And so this winter, as you know, Tom flipped the steps and we were able to get most of the downstairs put back together. The stairs were flipped, but- mm -hmm. These, both these bedrooms upstairs were still projects. Right, so what happened was weather got nice in Minnesota. We started doing outdoor projects and we totally ignored the kids' space. Right. Well, now it's cool again. Cool as in cold, 30 some degrees yeah. in Minnesota. <laughs> uh, and so now we're finishing their rooms. The other reason behind it too is that we are in the process of getting licensed for foster care and so they don't necessarily like seeing a house <laughs> with like open electrical boxes and insulation. I don't know that I had open electrical boxes anywhere. Well, or I mean, open minus... wires. You had covers on the boxes, but the wires were still. You mean the wires running down a stud? Yeah. Oh, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I thought so, you meant like exposed wires. I was like, Dawn, I did oh, not. Oh, no, have we any weren't that, that unsafe. <laughs> um, so we wanted to get it kind of pulled back together so that we could keep going with that process too. So <laughs> somebody's excited about it. That was the other motivation. <laughs> but we did have two young girls, they're nine and 10, almost 11, that were excited to get their room put back together too. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Tom, open the door. I am not done yet. One more second. Stop it. <laughs> what? This is awesome. It's so different. Yeah, it you know, it's clean. <laughs> it's really great. Clean. Yeah. And so we wanted to design this space so that it could grow with them over the next years now. And so I think we were able to do that. But let's first go back to the beginning. All right, welcome back to day three is of the day renovation. Three? Oh, yeah, today is day three. Yeah. yeah, day three. So this is what Tom got done yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, there was no ceiling joists where you wanted to put this yeah, new bedroom wall. Yeah, the joists are here and here. So I wanted to move the wall this way so that we don't have to move that wall. So what we do now is... Yeah, show where you'll actually come up the stairs. I'll so. be walking up the steps and then this is... Where you would come. Like a so hallway a landing. Girl bedroom, boy bedroom. And then I'm gonna frame a closet in here. Yep. And then this over here, because we removed the girl's closet, or everybody's closet, so will be the girls' closet. So the girls' closet will get built out to here. Mm -hmm. And then because this is kind of just wasted space otherwise, we're gonna include this in their closet. Yep. So as you can see, this room used to be a little bit bigger, not a ton bigger. But this wall was like three feet further that way. Mm -hmm. That's what was different. And then the closet wasn't here. It was a really tiny little closet. Yeah. So Tom had to build in the closet here. Yep. And for right now, we're not going to put up, we're not going to put clothing storage in there because the girls have these storage beds and they fit all of their clothes really comfortably. But down the road as they grow or if they, if we want to change it up, then we can. So right now we're just keeping the closet doors off and we have their keyboard in there and then we put their cube shelf in there so they can store whatever it is that they want to. We need to fix the carpet in here, but we're gonna have carpet laid up the stairs and then on the little landing area out here. So when they come and do that, we're just gonna have them, we have some extra car carpet to patch it. So we'll do it at that time. So for right now, it just is what it is. And the storage beds that the girls have are our old queen bed, yeah. cut in half and uh, refabricated to work as twin beds. And so we just recycled an old bed we had for that. The end of this bed needed a little, uh, just needed a little jazz. My plain up. old plywood didn't look good. 
I mean, when Tom did this to the beds, I mean, we were just using stuff we had on hand, right? Yeah, we were we were just trying to salvage an IKEA bed frame. Yeah. <laughs> to work up here with scrap lumber I had. So it wasn't designed to be pretty at that time. So now, he's no. he he's loves MDF now, right? So you just want to put it everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, we decided we didn't want our the storage bed in our room anymore, mm -hmm. but it works perfectly up here. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, this end of the bed was just plywood. So right. Tom was able to finish that off. It looks really nice. Now you would never know that Tom like <laughs> no. cut a bed in half. Took some plywood and an old bed, cut it up. Yeah. And, yep. But it also meant we didn't have a headboard for it. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of went back and forth like, should we build a headboard that has like little cubbies in it and the girls can store stuff? Okay, so here I have Adeline's bed. I have the headboard. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna nail some little like ledger boards to the wall. And then I'm gonna hold this to the wall, nail it in, nail it to the bed so it'll just be like fixed there. And then I have a piece of quarter inch plywood that will face it. And we'll nail that, that on. And then Dawn wanted a bigger top, so I cut out of, I don't remember what this stuff's called, but I cut a bigger top so that it hangs over on each direction. So then we'll nail that on. All right, and there you have it. That is basically all we were doing. And I decided that, I just thought it should be clean and I don't like when stuff looks cluttered now. Like I've become, like I've come to really like just kind of like simple, clean lines. So I want to give them space in the closet to store stuff where it's kind of out of sight. But as far as around their beds, I like these just really simple headboards that Tom made. And and then I had shown you these shelves that we got to go next to their beds. So we can't put a traditional nightstand because of the drawers on the bed. Right. And you know us, we don't really like nightstands. The other thing that's <laughs> nice about these drawers is because the drawers are the full size of the bed and all the girls' clothes are in one side and the other side is like seasonal stuff, they can't pile clothes on the floor in front of their bed. <laughs> yeah, because they, they have to get into the drawers. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, so one side they have their clothes and the other side we have some like extra blankets, but then they can also store their stuff. Like when you look in here, it doesn't look like there's a ton of storage or places for them to put their own stuff, but there actually is a lot of storage mm -hmm. in here. These storage beds are awesome if you are limited on space. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that they do have their desks downstairs where they do like art and school stuff. So we didn't feel a need to put a, any kind of desk space in here. No, what they do in their room, which we want to encourage them doing up here, is they'll sit up here and read. They'll like have like little quiet time to themselves to sit and read. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where we... Or Maggie uh -huh. will come up here and sing, or they'll play guitar, yeah, like the or do musical ones. stuff. <laughs> Which, speaking of, how cool is this swing that Tom put up? I when the girls I sat in it. So when the girls reacted, I was like, "You guys are like so quiet," and they're like, "We were just like taking it all in because I don't know." But the swing is for sure a hit. Yes, Tom sat in it, so it so it'll hold 220 pounds. It comes with like a little plate that you can attach to the ceiling, but... I didn't use it. Nope. Tom one the one sheet rock screw. Yeah. What? No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's oh, not. It's an eye bolt. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very big eye bolt that goes into a stud. And at first I thought it's it's a little bit low to the ground, but the girls actually like it like that because then their feet still touch and they can use their feet to swing back and forth. Like we got a whole new bedroom. Like we took somebody's and put it in our room. <laughs> it's a dream bedroom. <laughs> What's your favorite part about it, Maggie? The swing. The swing, yeah. Do you want to test it out? Oh, it's so comfy. <laughs> it does look pretty comfy, actually. <laughs> I had seen someone said to just put a pillow for like a cushion on the bottom and I think that actually works really well. What do you think? Is it, it's comfortable? This is perfect for reading. Yeah. So you think you're going to get an extra lot of reading done now that you have it? Yes. <laughs> we'll I see. I want to come up here every day. Yeah, we'll see. And read. Okay. <laughs> They think it's awesome, so mm -hmm. probably the biggest problem will be just keeping the boys off of it. <laughs> yeah, and keeping it in multiple kids keeping it away from the walls. I'm not too worried about that, and it's all wrapped yeah, the in boys, rope. The boys will figure yeah. out how to do that. <laughs> so we'll see. And then we also added the bean bag that they could yep. sit on too. The other thing, the girls have their little keyboard up here that they use for piano. They do currently do piano lessons, 
And so we just shifted the keyboard into the closet because mm -hmm. we're not gonna put doors on it right now. Yeah. So we moved that into the closet so they have a space in there for their keyboard out of this space. Mm -hmm. And then it's actually an enormous closet. I laid down in it the other day while I was putting trim on. I was like, gone. <laughs> we could put another twin bed in here. This is huge. So I was like, wow, Tom wants to have more kids. Okay, that's, then. That's not what I <laughs> The other thing that was kind of fun was we put these sconces on the walls. I didn't videotape this, but there was a lot of discussion over where <laughs> they should be positioned. <laughs> Nobody agreed with me about where they well, should go. Well, but where did they go? Hi. All right, putting up the faux lights. It's been a lot of debate over these of where they should go, <laughs> how high, where yeah. on the wall. If they should even go up. Should they even exist? So, time. Um, yeah, we'll just we'll just see. Well, they're all they're going up. They're going up. <laughs> and this is where they're going to be for now. There you go. Oh, cool. They went where I wanted them, and yeah. I think it all came together really well with the little shelf. So they can use that as like a nightstand. And I found these fun like clipboards that they can put pictures on, and so. I think it came together really well and I like how they look. Tom didn't actually wire them in so we got puck lights and um, used Gorilla Glue to attach them inside. But what's cool about these puck lights is that, so you could just like push them on and turn them on. The be They're supposed to last forever from what I've read from the reviews but they also came with like a little remote. Little teeny little remote. So the girls could actually like turn them on with the remote so I know they're gonna think that's they can do Super they cool. can totally do that as long as they know where the remote is. I know, until they lose the <laughs> remote. Like, right, we just already know. I should like we should put like a string and attach it because I just already but see hey, it falling first off, down like somewhere. <laughs> before you get too far, are you gonna talk about the girls' beds and their bedding? So we also reached out to Betty's and we're able to get Betty's bedding for their beds, which is awesome, especially with the drawers underneath. You don't want like bedding falling off because then it's really hard to open them. And let's face it, like it's Kids don't make their beds well. So. Here's the other thing. These kids have nicer bedding than we do. <laughs> than we ever have. They have nicer bedding. Yeah. No, it's beautiful. Super functional. Because you just unzip the side and then they can get in. And then in the morning to make their bed, they literally just zip it up. But it fully comes apart too. So we washed and dried them. I wasn't sure how they would like fit in the washing machine. Fit in totally easily. Throw them in the dryer and then put them back on. And we got the ones with the the minky inside so it's really extra snuggly isn't it Maggie? Mm -hmm. We also put the little um, bed suspender things underneath the sheet suspenders underneath to help hold them tight and in place and so that helped too and then we also got these pillows um, they're really soft and snuggly and so the girls like that too so I wanted it to feel cozy it's not a big room it it, I think it feels bigger maybe. It's huge compared to the boys' room. Well, no, it's a good size room, but we wanted to keep it really light and bright. So that's why we did the white trim, the really light paint color. Right. Um, the board and batten wall turned out awesome. So we're gonna put up the board and batten. Again, we just ripped these strips down out of MDF. <laughs> Tom was hoping his hands would never touch MDF, but it's okay. <laughs> Some people may be surprised that we're working on this right now. Some people may not be, but Show them outside and then that's that's why we're working on this. Yeah, so we got a freak snowstorm in Minnesota. Um, set a new record. The day it snowed, we had only, the record we had ever gotten um, up until that point in October was two inches and we got seven. So Yay. Adeline said, Mama, I don't think those are the type of records we want to set, yeah. right? And we said, nope, no yeah, we do not. not. <laughs> the only good thing is you don't feel bad being inside when the ground's covered with snow. Oh, I still kind of feel bad. Yeah. So Tom is going to use some adhesive though. We always do that with our board and batten just to make sure it doesn't come off. Sticks to the wall well. We went back and forth if we should put another horizontal piece. I kind of thought it should have that. It, it looks fine without it. Um, we got that all put together and that looks really good. And so I feel like it just has a lot of character even though it is a small space and we didn't really spend a lot of money on it at all. Did you think, did you like the idea of putting the board and batten so you didn't have to mud and tape anymore? Oh yeah, absolutely. The, it actually yeah. worked out really well. And I know like we made fun of using MDF but it worked pretty slick. It was a I'm lot still cheaper. I'm still not gonna say I like it. It was cheaper than using Select Pine which we've used a lot for the other trim so I don't know. I think if you want to create your own board and batten that 
go to the hardware store. You have to have a table saw, though, is the thing. Well, so no, if you don't have a table saw, most home improvement stores will rip it down for you. I don't know so that. So we did two will. inch strips. That's what I've heard. Most like Home Depot. I knows. think Home Depot does. I don't yeah. know that the one we go to does. So we did two inch strips. Tom used some construction adhesive and a nail gun to attach it, and then I just filled the holes and painted over it. And it ain't ever coming off. <laughs> it, yeah, I mean, yeah. Be sure it's what you want to do. Before. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't be like, well, we'll just see. <laughs> like. It ain't gonna come on. Yeah, be pretty confident what you want to do before you do it. She so. rock will come with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do, I really like the paint color. It's really mm -hmm. light. I'll put, I added a little bit of blue to it. Yeah, tint. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure you made the paint color. But I don't think it actually changed it that much because I had to go order more yesterday or get it more mixed and it was really close to the sample. So I'll put that color down below. I really like it, especially with the white trim. Adeline's painting too. You wanted to help with your room, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's looking really good. Is it fun painting? Yeah. Yeah. For a little bit at least, right? Yeah. <laughs> if I wanna paint, if I'm being made paint. Made to paint, yeah. Fun. Not as fun. Yeah. I know what question we should ask everyone too. Adeline is growing out her hair and you wanna donate it. Yeah. So tell us where is the best place to donate it to and how long because when you cut it, you don't want it to be like super short. Yeah, right? I just want it to like shoulder height. Yeah. So how much further does she have to grow it, and where should we donate to? Donate it to. And the girl said too, I, I didn't want it to look like baby blue, and I think it has enough like robin egg color in it that it doesn't. Yeah, so. I see a tinge of green to it when I look at it. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. I so. think that it goes really good with the carpeting, and it it's just enough contrast off the white trim yeah. so that the that looks different. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, and I made the curtain too, which um, is, it's actually like a faux Roman shade. There's just extra tension rods in there. Um, so I made it out of a, I made it out of a shower curtain, so. You're not supposed to tell people that it's a faux Roman curtain because I would have thought it actually was. Until I went to pull on it. To yeah, close it out right? right, when you're like, how do you put this down? But the girls really like the material and the colors in it, so I like it too. It adds a little bit of contrast, so yep. it turned out. So coming up next, we had asked you a couple of videos back what we should do for a next project. And a lot Everybody of you- Everybody said this room. They were like, well maybe, like, <laughs> do you ever think you should finish a project before you start? I'm like, no, we meant we would finish this first and then move on to another project. So I think the three that are potentials right now would be the boys' bedroom, the camper, or our office building. And so... You didn't know we had an office building, did you? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while since we talked about it. It's an office slash hoping potentially a family member or family kind of like a guest stay space in it too. and come like and visit. right now. Um, all my family is three plus hours away, mm -hmm. and we have nowhere for them to stay. They'd have to stay at a hotel. Yeah. Um, and it would be nice for them to be able to visit here and actually yeah, spend a whole us, weekend, so. spend holidays with us. Um, but mostly so, we were in the office out of it. Yeah, <laughs> so. office and uh, more studio space. So yeah. those are the three projects. Tom already knows what it is that we're going to do next. Yeah, because Tom's already been working on it. So. <laughs> we're going to work on the office building <laughs> some more. So <laughs> You didn't even let anyone guess. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me pause. You guess. <laughs> After kidding. she already said. No, we're going to work on the office building some more. So we are all home all of the time now. All of the time. And I know it can be done that six all the people time. could live in a 1500 square foot house in Minnesota all of the time, all together, the homeschooling, problem, working from home. So the problem I see with, it's not that we, <laughs> not, <laughs> Tom's trying to figure out how to justify it's this. It's not that we, I was going to say, it's not that we don't have enough space. We just don't have a place where one of us, while we are working, can get away from the noise of four children. Yeah. It's tough right now. Like, I like that my desk is around everybody, but there are times where I'm like, I just need to get some stuff done. So to have a space where we can go and shut mm -hmm. a door um, would be nice to go out there and homeschool and then be able to come back in and not have to be thinking about that stuff. So, um, yeah, so. That doesn't sound very minimal though. I was just thinking. I know, and that's gonna be <laughs> what people are gonna say is that it's not minimal to now add another But here, building. okay, so here's the thing. We did not add another building. This actually used to be a cow building yep. that it was three-sided. Cows used to come in and sit in there out of the rain and they would poop out and pee all over the place, <laughs> basically. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I excavated all that out. Yeah. Two, three years ago we started this building project. Yeah. And so it's been several years in the making. For the last year and a half it's kind of been parked. Yeah. 
Um, and now we're just picking up where we had left off. Yep, and so we're working to make it efficient by putting in floor heat and... We've already done the in-floor heat and the concrete. Now we yep. are doing, we've done most of the windows. We did that multiple years ago too. Now we're gonna do uh, spray foam insulation. More windows. More windows. Yeah, heating. so we'll actually show you that next week. We'll give you an update and kind of show you the space again and kind of what our plans are. We're trying to do it very economically and that's why it kind of mm -hmm. gets pushed off to. And yeah, that's why we've done it over three years. Yeah. So. so, I don't know. If it means we're not minimalist, then what? I mean, I don't know, whatever, I guess. Told, it is what it is. How, how about this? <laughs> Everyone has their own definition of what minimalism yeah. is. Some people are the, I own 50 things or less. Mm -hmm. Some people are, I just have, I don't keep stuff. Yeah. Um, For us, it's the freeze up time and resources to do the things we want to do. And mm -hmm. one of the things we want to do is to travel more and to be able to entertain and to host and to have family around us. So. Right. Yeah, okay, I think we can, we're done justifying that. On another note that we- Or, how about this? Sorry, I got- my we, are, we are uh, minimalist. Sorry, I'm trying to think. Well, I I think that we're minimalists who live on a farm. Like because yeah, that's to be too. on a farm, mm -hmm. like with all these buildings and all the responsibility that comes with that. Yeah, we are extremely minimal. Go to a yeah. farmer's place and you tell me if their buildings yeah. are empty like ours. For sure. <laughs> Yep. So, anyway. um, you know, as long as we're talking about this, another area that comes up every Christmas, and we kind of opened this can of worms last week, is um, around Christmas gifts and what we give our kids, and uh, do we just expect other people to get our give our kids gifts, and then we don't have to buy them stuff. And so, we have another video where we just answered some Christmas questions that that we're going to link to down below because I know a lot of you like are not ready to fully talk about Christmas yet. So we just answered some of those questions, so you can find that link down below as well. Is worth watching, I promise. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, being along for the ride as we finish this room. It's been fun. The girls are super excited. They're like, we're going to stay up there all the time now. And we're like, good. Great. That sounds great. <laughs> Mission accomplished. All right. right. Maybe we should do the boys' room next and <laughs> yeah. they'll say the same. <laughs> right. So we appreciate your support when you weigh in on the different options we give. It's always fun. Yep. So thank you for cheering us on. It's been fun. But uh, we'll look forward to sharing our office project with you next week. Bye-bye.